courtesy of Flame George Miller. Oh, you're supposed to be vegan. I thought you were supposed to be my friend. <laughs> That's your problem, Ben. You think too much. Friend. So are they already using this in restaurants? Yeah, apparently they're like using it. In Rachel, a... this one one's for, for you. Um, if you'd like to come over here right. to the audience. Okay. Um, uh, are we going to be tasting bins? In a sense, uh, this is a, isn't really a bin anymore. It's what I call a Rachel. Can I yeah. can I demonstrate it Hang for on. you? Oh, for me? Or do you have to? <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. While well, the boys act like mature adults, I think it's time we took a break. <laughs> Welcome back to it's not rocket science. Everyday operating theatres are full of people putting their lives in the hands of surgeons, but in Newcastle, some patients are choosing to put their lives in the hands of robots. Here's how. Here, that's exactly what they're doing. Movement, does uh, this give you? This actually, they were able to work in areas. And now I'm going to go meet the man, Ian, who today is about to go under the robotic knife. What's really impressive is the speed of the operation. It proves that there's no contamination. The operation has just finished, and from what I could see, it was a huge success. It was absolutely fascinating to watch the professor at work. He made it look so easy to operate that robot. I know Ian was so excited before he went into surgery. I can't wait to show him what he just went through. Incredible. I absolutely love him. I've never seen a surgery before, but I just couldn't believe how quick it was. He was straight in there, making incisions with a robot as if they were his own hands, and they can actually do things that, as he said, that hands can't do. So you want to turn your wrist, you turn it like that. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> so good to see you. I mean, I, I met you just before your surgery. You know, it was, it was a massive cop out. You lose. Could have done it with like a tangible. Human brain not tell you to duck. Yeah, it does. I had to really talk myself into it to do it. Yeah. I also think it. And today I'm off for an exclusive look at the ultimate British thoroughbred. This is going to go 1,000 miles an hour on that. those engineers and what they were doing. There were so many interesting things. I learned so much. And, you know, Ben Early was whining on about those bike handles that set off his crossbow. Well, to start the bloodhound, they're actually using a drill bit. <laughs> Andy! Oh, my word, what a gig. How on earth did you get that? Well, it's a case that does sound very exciting, and it is very exciting, but I'm about to make it. With me, we need to retreat. I'm going to stand behind you. To a safe you. place. I don't want to be watermelon. This is going to be off this the charts. This is yours. Charts. You can go at the front. <laughs> I seriously, guys, uh, this is TV history we're making. 